Alright everyone, welcome to a new series, I guess, for real this time. Um, this is Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell is a new-ish face map for about a month, maybe two now. It's a new Souls-like game, um, which immediately, let's see when I saw the trailer first, I was like, oh okay, this one's interesting. But basically what it is, is uh, you play as like a horrible, pale, pasty dude who uh, like possesses the bodies of pe fallen warriors and they're like four different classes you can use. Uh, apparently it's more... It takes more inspiration from the first Dark Souls game than anything else. Um, and it's hard to play, so without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Okay, here we are. There, as you can see, this is me. I look pretty cool. Oh shit, hello. It looks amazing, by the way. Like, I know this is like a dark area, but it looks really, really good. But you can turn it into something like... 20 quid, I think, at the time. What's this way? Oh, I'll go this way. Hello. Already, okay. You have inherited the ability to harden your body. Hardening prevents harm from attacks, but is broken quickly upon taking physical damage. Hold L2 to harden. Thank you, game. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, oh shit. Look at me, dodging. Ah, uh, he's gone. I killed him. Did I kill him? What just happened? Who are you? Examine the statue. Do I get the sword? Hell yeah, dude. Once again, I apologize for the uh, roaring engine of the PS4 in the background. That will be gone soon because of uh, PS5 boys. Get the sword. Now the fight really begins. Okay. You may harden in most situations even while attacking. Experiment with hardening. While attacking. Oh, oh, okay. Ow. He's dead. I feel like I dodge more than that harden to be honest, because I feel like you gotta time it perfectly. Item Mortal Token. Next damage token will harden is converted to health. So this is my inventory. They have the four classes, but I guess I can't do that yet. Sprint. A running attack. Holy shit. Secret secrets. Hello? Yeah, I knew it. Another one. I'll keep that one. Oh, no, oh, okay. Oh my god, I have so much stamina. No more questions. Now. 
It's just one of those you need to double hit bosses, so I'm just gonna throw in sweat and kill him. Ow. Hardening can be your parry in this game. You know, you do it right. There is a cooldown on it, so you can't just start spam it, which makes sense. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, I'm not dead ever? Oh, this was supposed to happen with it. I'm not supposed to be this kid. He looks cool as fuck though. And he's gone. Oh no. This is the real boss. What are you doing? I'm sit down. No. Oh. Fallgrim. A tower homes where a muted dweller ruminates his fate. I think I said that wrong. Oh, okay, I'm alive. So I think, yeah, you are supposed to get taken out by that guy. Even though you don't lose all your HP, like, it leaves you at 1 HP and it ends. It's interesting. Oh, why am I moving so slowly? Hello. Oh, okay, I, uh, I do have one HP. Is this that horrible fish? Am I inside the fish? Oh no, wait. Uh, I am not sure. Are we crawling? This best not be inside that fish, else this is very disturbing. That's a long crawl. Any minute now, we're gonna get to this tool. It's like the endless ladder from Metal Gear Solid 3, if anyone remembers that game. There's a ladder like about halfway through. Mortal Shell. You are cl literally crawling upwards. Dude, can I do this? In real life? Probably not. Oh, you can move faster. What am I doing? Oh no, run Mortal Shell. Run. Oh, the rib cage. I'm definitely inside this fish. Oh, no, I'm not. Why am I? What's this? Hello? I don't know what that is, but. Cool. We carry on. Is this one of the shit? Is this the first shell? The night dude. Surely. Oh my god. We in. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. No, it's dog souls. <laughs> so it visually looks amazing, I won't lie. It looks very clean. Fallgrim. Okay. Wet camp. What's this? Oh. There's a dude there. Glimpse of utility. I will check what these arms do at some point, I swear. Chest. Simple loot. Is that not a guitar? If that's a weapon, I will lose my mod. Just saying. What is this? Hello? It's got a cooldown ring on it. Okay. So 
Well, I guess we're going up there. Alright. Cool. So I'm going to go this way, because Dark Souls, you know, you, I'm stuck. What is this? Chest is locked. That's not a chest. Oh shit. Oh, you can roll so far. Holy crap. Combat feels nice. I know he's a lot of random scrub boys, but combat feels really good. I knew you weren't dead, let's be honest. All this trick in the book. Who's throwing shit? Oh, I got Moonshine. That's not a chest. Okay. Bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he's done the bear trap. Oh, we're going. Holy crap. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I regen health? These, right? Surely these. Health over 30, health over 30 seconds. Okay. So it's like live gems from Dark Souls. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm oh, one shot, boys. We got it, we got it. He's dead, don't worry about it. Oh. What the fuck just... I'm back. Oh. Okay. So that was very quick, it seems. I think I heard about this. When you die, you, your pasty blue, white, I mean white, body comes out of the armor and then you can run back to it. But I think you can only do that once. A lot. Which can make sense, obviously they don't want it to be you know broken. I know there's a uh like a fast class. Um, like a two sworded dude. Oh, that's a frog. We're gonna leave that for now. That's the thing with these games, if you don't follow the way it's supposed to go, you're probably gonna get wrecked. Uh, it makes it very obvious you're not supposed to be there when everything starts one-shotting you. I can't attack. Oh! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay, we're back. I think when they go the way it's supposed to take me, because those guys are... tough cockies, man. Oh, not long. So we're gonna go this way. And see... Uh, what happens? Boom! See you, bro. He's playing the flute! Loot! Ah, uh, never mind. Oh! Hello? Three hit, all of them. I even saw it and walked into it. I'm a goddamn idiot. Yeah. Boom. Easy game. Oh, he's not dead. He's dead now. I'll take this, whatever this is. Glimpse wisdom. We'll get used to them later. I'll figure out what. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
I'll figure out what stuff I actually does in that. Uh, between videos, so I'm not like boring anyone with figuring out what all items do. Um, that way I just kind of know what I'm doing for the most part when I'm playing. I should probably use that harder a bit more because I'm just get outplayed. I'll just use this one so it does glimpse into your shell. Yeah, I don't know what that means. What does this do? Tar. Okay. Are you serious? Okay. Just gonna... Yoink. Shrooms. Uh, that sounds... Not good. I have healing items now. That didn't sound good, whatever that was. It's in here. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Pray, what wayward spirit beckons? I shall name you family. You are uninitiated in the Raphael's mysteries. I see. What a curiosity you are. Wearing a man like a shell. You've awakened him, but you know nothing of him yet. Fetch me one of his mementos, and some tar too, and I'm sure we can st Of course, first you must find his name. Oh, we'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, you must discover the shell's name to awaken its power. with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. Alright, so it seems the shells are actually characters that have died. These there... Yeah, okay, each... I'm guessing each like, body has an ability, different abilities. That's cool. What am I doing? There's another one. Somewhere. It's down here. Crawl space. <gasps> you didn't see me. So good. I hear a frog. There's that big guy, I swear. To God. Oh, let me show that too. <laughs> See, I feel like if I had these guys in that 1v1, that'd be easy. But I don't. And there's about to be two. I ran past it, that's fine. There's a chest. I think I'm near the yeah. Wait, this guy's respawn. Is that woman at the checkpoint? Seems like she was 
He wasn't there before. Is she still there? Yes. Yes. Taste. Alright, so that, that, okay. Yeah, they are checkpoints. The. Whoa, what's all these weapons? Okay, so I guess I need to fall. Why is the footing, dude? Oh sh! What is this? Hello? Is that a bird? I'll save you, this looks like a good idea. Yeah, he's looking at that like, why did I do this for? I am reading the text. No way, I'm not like. Yeah, I'm not like. Oh, parry, here we go. The old prisoner has gifted you at the tarnished seal. It enables you to parry enemy strikes, interrupting their attacks. The seal also warns you of incoming parryable strikes. Well, the old prisoner has infused the seal, giving you parry. You even your power the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. This requires resolve. Okay, so I, okay, I have three now. Yeah, what? Oh, I can't grab more weapons. Okay, all right. So we're gonna leave it here. That was just a small introduction to the game. And how it plays and stuff like that. I'm definitely interested because it sounds awesome. Um, this will try. I'll try my this episodic. Um, I was going to do the same thing with Sekiro, but I do, I am trying to figure out a formula and how to make these games as episodic because there's a lot of trying to figure out where to go and dying in the process. So I'll try and figure it all out. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.